Hey everybody, I already started painting this piece, but I decided to go ahead and go live. So I am Zan from The Other Side Vintage. We are open today 11 to 6 and tomorrow 12 to 5. And you can catch us at theothersidevintage.com that has all our links for eBay, Etsy, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, everything. So just follow me. This piece, as you can see, can you see the damage on top and the damage on the side? And it's all faux veneer but it is older and so i am using um a paint that i had sold called country chic and it's in starstruck and i'm using that because that's what i have available right at the second that's here at the house and i am just putting on a quick first coat just making sure i'm not dripping anywhere because this paint is a little bit thinner than dixie bell which is why i like dixie bell a lot more it's easier to use um, but like I said, I had this and I'm just using what I have, which is what I always tell you guys. Don't, don't not do something because you're waiting for the perfect day, the perfect this, the perfect that. Just go ahead and do it. So this is going to be a very nice, beautiful blue, which is not a color I usually paint, but fall is upon us and I did not want to paint it white. And so like I said, I just went through real quick and said, you know what, I'm going to use this color. And if I don't like it, I'll paint it over white. <laughs> because this veneer is so cracked, um, I'm just going right over it. I wiped it down. I did not put a lot of effort into cleaning it because it was pretty clean and because of what I'm going to do with it I don't need to put all that extra work it's a really good quality piece it has the original shipping label on the back and um, I believe this piece Jason got this morning at an estate sale so fresh off the truck as you were and I'm just sitting on the ground painting, which is where I usually paint. I am outside. Um, this paint has a little bit more smell than Dixie Belle, so hence why I like my Dixie Belle because I can paint inside. So you'll have to excuse the uh, cars going by and the horns honking and everything. Um, this way, I don't have to worry about the smell of the paint to get to me. Again, I try a bunch of different paints and decided Dixie Belle is the easiest and no VOCs, no smells, and that's why I choose it, but I still do have some paints that are really brilliant in color like this one. And I have them, so I'm going to use them. And it's a beautiful day in Tallahassee. Where are you guys from? Post below, comment below where you're from. And if you feel like supporting a small local business, you could, um, I can't say the word, but you can sprinkle this video by pushing that button below and let your friends know about it. That helps us out. We appreciate that. Even if you're not in the Tallahassee area, it lets people know that we ship items and they can follow us on our Instagram and it helps us out. So beautiful Saturday. Um, it's a little windy, just a tad, not the kind, the kind of windy you prefer on a Saturday, but when you're painting, you got to keep that in mind. And that's why it's drying almost as quick as I'm putting it on. So you just keep that in mind when you're painting. Are you in direct sun or are you under a canopy, which is what I'm under right now. There's a little uh, shade canopy above me. Low humidity, but I could not paint inside because of the tiny bit of smells. There's not that much smell. Like this would be my second choice of paint line, Country Chic. It has been for a while. They're in Canada and they're family owned. So good people. All right, I know you can't see that great, but and again, this is a quality piece, but all veneer. 
and the veneer is cracking. It looks like it's probably been in someone's garage or workshop for some time and it needed some rescuing. So I could have pulled all the veneer off and just painted over the, uh, the, the wood that was underneath that, but because the way it was adhered and the glue that was used to put on the veneer, it just made more sense to go ahead and give it a seal job of paint. And you could still, because the paint is on top of the veneer, if someone gets this and is like, oh, I wanted it to be wood, not painted, just pull the veneer off, which is what the paint is on, and you'll still have your lovely wood paint. Alright, I'm gonna get over here. Just again, I'm just putting on that first coat. Some people spray these, you can spray pieces of furniture with like the home decor paint sprayer. You can get that at Home Depot or Lowe's or probably Amazon. And then you would just thin the paint about 10 to 25% and spray it on. But there's something about hand painting a piece that I really enjoy and it's good for anxiety. And if you've followed me for a while now, you know, anxiety has reared its ugly head with me. And uh, I have anxiety disorder and this just soothes me. I don't know why it just works. Some people cook. Some people clean house, some people run, some people, um, I don't know, go fishing. There's all kinds of things to do, but this helps me, especially on a day like today when I can just sit outside and not worry about who has COVID or who doesn't have COVID or who's lying or who's not. I don't care. I care. I don't want to hear about it right now. So I just want to be left alone and paint and spend some time with this lovely classic piece. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come around and um, paint the side. You can see it's really damaged and I'm probably going to be blocking the view for a few minutes, but I'll try to paint this way. The veneer is really bad, We're bad for it. Someone got a lovely, lovely piece of furniture and then treated it poorly. By putting some paint on it, it'll help nurture it and get it to be liked again. It's like rescuing an animal. I know I say that all the time, but that's how I feel about it. Nobody wants this piece. They stuck it in the garage. Decided they were probably gonna, I don't know, just use it and abuse it by not appreciating its history. It is a beautiful piece. A little bit of dust and all. I just pulled a piece of little dust off that I missed. Um, I would guess that this piece is going to take uh, about three to four coats. If I was using Dixie Belle, I would say it would take two coats. Again, that's the difference in the type of paint that I'm using and why I always rant and rave about Dixie Belle because it's just easier for me. All right, you might can hear that. This guy has a, a new Mustang and he revs his engine so much coming up the street. <sighs> Sorry. When he hits the red light, he revs his engine and then when he starts to get going with the green light, he can get really loud. So you might be hearing that in a minute. Actually, I think he went the other way. I think he went towards Lake Ella. <laughs> Another part about painting is you get to hear all the noises, and, but you get to also hear the birdies and the bugs, but there's not that many bugs because it's such a beautiful day in Tallahassee. If 
my anxiety wasn't so high, I would be at the downtown park, Mayor Allen, at the chain of parks, um, Lafayette, I uh, know it's Park Avenue, sorry, and see all the artists there wearing your mask, of course, to be safe. That's where I would be, and then I would head over to Railroad Square and check out Pete's Meats, which is actually the crumb box. He's our neighbor. Woo! Someone is cooking. That smells good. <gasps> you know what I just realized? Jason is cooking. Jason set the crock pot with his homemade spaghetti sauce meat something and he's cooking in the crock pot and I opened up the door to get some air in the house and I can smell the crock pot so it's Jason who's cooking even though he's up at work. If you're up at the other side say hello to Jason and tell him that um <laughs> his lunch smells really good. Oh we're not focus and here comes Petey. Oh come on focus. I don't know why it's over. there. Hey Petey. Here I'll pick him up. This is Petey. He always wants to make an appearance. He's a rescue cat. Oh, I hear a big truck, so that might be a delivery. It is. It's my delivery paint. Okay, I have to go, you guys. FedEx is here delivering my paint. I started painting because I was out of paint. They're delivering it right now, so yay! It'll be at the other side tomorrow, and there's still some there today. So thank you for watching, and get out and enjoy this day. friends are sending me messages so I can't finish the thing. Hold on a second, you guys. There.